The area I'm posing in is our drawing classroom. We call it Big Art because it is a really big space. This is where artists practice drawing models in different poses. The artists want to draw not only the shape of the character, but the emotions they're expressing. Typically, the pose is only held for a minute, so you have to draw quickly and loosely. We call the style of drawing gestural drawing, and it's a great way to capture the idea behind the drawing without worrying about capturing all the little details within the drawing. Speaking of posing, I hope you enjoyed how expressive your lamp could be with just a few controls. Now we're going to add action to the emotion and make your lamp jump. Think about what you do when you jump from standing still. First you bend and squash down. Then you jump, stretching out. These are two different poses we're going to need for our lamp. Squash and stretch. So we need to add controls to the lamp so it can move to a new location. We can do this by adding rotation and translation deformers to the base of the lamp. One thing we need to be aware of when we add deformers is that some deformers need to operate in a certain order. This might be a little hard to picture, so let me show you. If we rotate before we translate, we get a different effect than if translate and then rotate. Notice that we can arrange the order of these deformers by clicking and dragging like this. And the order in which they operate flows in this direction. The animators who use this are moving to a position and then posing of rotates, moving to another position, and posing of rotates again, and so on. So they should be able to rotate about the base no matter where they translate it. But if our deformers operate in the wrong order, translate and rotate, we will run into a problem. The rotation of the lamp will move away from the pose like this. That's because we move the lamp away from the axis of rotation, which is the initial position of the base. We solve this problem by having our deformers operate in the opposite order. First we rotate about the origin of the base, and then we move to base. This dependence on ordering is called non cumulativity Well, you can learn more about this in the sets and staging lesson. <laughs> in this next exercise, our goal is to move our lamp into place and then pose them with rotations. So you will need to pay attention to the ordering of your translation and rotational deformers. Have fun. Ha, ha, ha.